welcome to Bethel Church Sunday School Theater. Our regular service will start in a few minutes. However, first, we have a delightful story for you, acted and narrated by our very own Sunday School team. So without further ado, let's sit back and relax and enjoy a wonderful story. Today's true story comes from God's Word, the Bible, and can be found in Numbers 13 and 14. You kids at home, you can be the Israelites in the story. And when you hear the words, we'll never win, you join in and chant, we'll never win. And you say it three times. Can you do that? A long time ago, God had promised to take the Israelites out of Egypt, away from slavery, and bring them to a new land. And even though they complained a lot and often forgot to trust God's promises, God was faithful. Now, 40 years later, the people had finally arrived. They were standing outside the promised land. God told Moses to send 12 spies to check out the land and report what they saw back to the people. Okay, everyone, we're almost there. This is so exciting. I've chosen 12 spies and sent them ahead to check things out. When they get back, they'll tell us about the land and the crops and what the cities are like. They'll spy on the people and let us know how many of them there, there are and how big or small. I can't wait till they get back. I told them to bring some fruit for us to try. The spies were gone for 40 days. When they came back, they showed everyone the fruit they brought back. Wow, check out those grapes. I knew the promised land would be as great as God had promised it would be. They also brought back lots of stories about what they'd seen. Unfortunately, they were mostly scary stories. The land is awesome. It's as great as God said it would be. But the people there are nasty, real nasty. And the city walls are huge, really huge. In fact, they were so big, we looked like little grasshoppers beside them. We'll never win. There were two spies who saw things differently, Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb reminded the Israelites that even though the people were giants and the city walls were strong, God was powerful and God had promised to protect them. But the Israelites didn't want to hear what Joshua and Caleb had to say. In fact, they considered killing Joshua and Caleb to make them be quiet. That's when God stepped in. God is angry really really angry you complained about egypt and god set you free you complained about the wilderness and god set you manna and quail to eat and now when you're about to enter the promised land you stop trusting in god again you've really done it this time god and moses talked for a long time finally god told moses what to say to the israelites listen up everyone i have a message from god even though you forgot to trust God, God didn't forget his promises. God will still bring people to the promised land, but not right now. God is sending us back into the wilderness for 40 more years. You will die in the wilderness. But when your kids are grown up, God will lead them to the promised land instead. So the Israelites were sent, sent back into the wilderness. As for the spies with the scary stories, they died. All of them except Joshua and Caleb, the two who trusted God. This time God punished his people for not trusting him. Fear got the Israelites into trouble. The Israelites spent too much time being afraid instead of trusting God. They were afraid they would be killed near the Red Sea after God led them out of Egypt. And they were afraid they would starve when they lived in the wilderness. Yet both times God provided for them in amazing ways. Would God have helped them defeat the giants in the promised land? Of course he would. God wants us to trust him even when it's difficult. <laughs>